What's good, Eagles fans? Y'all are tuned into another dose of Chalk It Up, where no matter if we win or if we lose, we just gotta charge it to the game. Once again, I'm eternally grateful for you guys coming to the show, coming to the content, coming to the channel. If you're new here, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm so grateful for your presence, and I hope you find a home here. If you've been loyal to the soil you from the beginning, y'all already know what my heart is. In addition, make sure y'all cop up on y'all Chalk It Up merch, man. We got hoodies and we got t-shirts on there by way of Teespring. Also, we got mugs, stickers, and other trinkets coming as well. But right now, we got the hoodies and the shirts available. Make sure y'all cop up. We got different colors, different flavors for you guys. And honestly, the support would be greatly appreciated. You know, I give you guys this content every day, damn near for free. And um, I would be so grateful for you guys, you know, investing me as I'm investing in y'all. And the love is felt unapologetically but as we move on the philadelphia eagles are starting to get very 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 dysfunctional since things have been going downhill all season and i didn't think it'll come to this i didn't think i would see the day or hear about the day but here we are jeffrey laurie the owner is finally starting to show signs of anguish with this organization with his coaching staff with the performance of his team uh let's talk about the facts a report has come out stating that Jeffrey Lurie did not attend the Browns game. As a matter of fact, the report states that he didn't attend because of frustrations. A combating report says he didn't attend because of COVID restrictions. Okay, in my humble opinion, Jeffrey Lurie made it a point to go to every game despite COVID restrictions. As a matter of fact, his COVID restrictions, how much are you really restricting? In my opinion, he's the owner. They're going to have that box completely empty unless it's him and his wife up there. That's about it. So, you know, the COVID thing wasn't really the reason why he didn't come to that game. We all see the writing on the wall. We all know what's coming. And honestly, it's unfortunate. Dirk Peterson's job is on the line, along with Howie Roseman's. Again, I believe if anyone's going to go, the last person to go is going to be the quarterback because they have so much money tied up into him. If anyone's going to go, it's going to be either be Doug Peterson or Howie Roseman. And Howie Roseman is Jeffrey Lurie's brainchild. He loves that man. But at this point, Jeffrey Lurie is fed up. He did not attend the Browns game out of frustration. Let's call it what it is. And on top of that, there are rumors that he's been leaving practices early out of frustration as well. Let's be honest, man. We all feel like Jeffrey Lurie should have been said something about this team. But in reality, he's not Jerry Jones. That's not, that's not his MO. That's not how he moves. That's not how he manages anything. He allows his GM to do their job. He allows his coaches to do their job. And honestly, he likes to show you with his actions more than anything. The man is concerned. As long as the fans have been, he's as concerned. He's, he should be concerned. This is, his, this is his baby. And his baby is not being nurtured. His baby is not being taken care of. Doug Peterson is doing whatever he wants to do. Carson Wentz isn't looking the best, and he seems like he's regressing. Howie Roseman doesn't seem like he knows how to manage a roster or build a roster to save his life. You know, there are just so many problems right now. And Jeffrey Lurie is starting to see the end. Jeffrey Lurie is starting to, to get close to that proverbial cliff. And honestly, he's pushing someone off. It's either Howie Roseman or Doug Peterson. Howie has been here much longer than Doug. And honestly, Howie hasn't shown me anything that signifies trust in him picking up talent. He passed on DK Metcalf. He, pushed, he passed on Justin Jefferson. He passed on Marlon Humphrey. He passed on... Chase Claypool, he passed, he passed on A.J. Brown, he passed on Mark, um, Marquise Brown, Hollywood Brown, he passed on so much talent, Dalvin Cook, he passed on so much talent to the point where as though this guy does not deserve another job picking or setting up anyone's roster. But that's all I really have for you guys today. Jeffrey Lurie is so frustrated, just as we are, and honestly, the Seahawks game, is going to be the final straw, in my opinion. If this game doesn't go well, if this game doesn't go remotely well, if there isn't any inkling of continuity from this offense, from this team on Monday night, something's going to change. And I highly doubt Carson Wentz's job will change. They got too much money tied up. That man ain't going nowhere for the next few years. Doug Peterson, Harry Roseman, be on the lookout, my brothers. But that's all I have for you guys today. Y'all were tuning into y'all dose to chalk it up where no matter if we win or if we lose, we just got to charge it to the game. 
I'm your humble host, Tony DeShields II. I'm always grateful for you guys coming and showing love. If y'all new, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I pray y'all found a home here. I'll be eternally grateful if y'all just keep on rocking with me throughout. If y'all been loyal to the soil, y'all already know what it is. Y'all already know how my heart go. And in addition, make sure y'all cop up and get y'all Chalk It Up merch for the holidays, man. I'd be so grateful for that. Again, we got so many flavors, so many styles for you guys. We got other stuff coming out on the on the online store as well. So make sure y'all support this channel by checking out the Chalk It Up merch. And again, no matter if we win or if we lose, we just got to charge it to the game. One love, y'all. Fly, blue, fly.